Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy Neo XO, and today I got a video for y'all. So I want to talk about William Vengeance. And you know, everybody knows that he was nowhere to be found during the elf invasion um, of the Clover Kingdom. So it's just kind of it's just kind of goes without saying that he really needs to redeem himself because you are he is the number one. He is the captain of the number one wizard squad in the Clover Kingdom. And during a huge invasion, he was nowhere to be seen. Now, we know that Patri had control of his body, so he couldn't, um, so he wasn't in control of his body pretty much. But the fact is that he was aware of Patri being in his body and he chose to allow that to happen. Because if you guys remember, whenever Patri faced off against Julius Novacrono, Patri pretty much told Julius, he was like, hey, there's this other person inside of my body and we're really good friends and I don't know who to pick. I don't know who to pick between the Clover Kingdom or my friend. So ultimately, he let his friend, who is Patri, decide and... We all know that that's not that's not OK. You can't just choose your friend over the whole entire Clover Kingdom. You know what I mean? Because of Patri, Julius Novacrono has reverted to a state of a child. You know what I mean? So in a way, William Vengeance didn't have didn't do it directly, but he could have easily prevented it. You know what I mean? He could have he could have not allowed that to happen. He could have said, no, I have to stop. I have to stop Patri from doing this. Um, even if he didn't want to do it himself, he could have informed someone like Julius. He kept this information to himself. And, you know, it caused a lot of people to get hurt, man. A lot of people got hurt because of his selfish actions. Um, now, morally speaking, I don't know if I was in the same situation as... If I was in the same situation as Vengeance, what I would do, because you know what I mean? But at, in, in, at the same time, he did pledge his allegiance to the Clover Kingdom. And by not protecting the Clover Kingdom from Patri, he betrayed the kingdom because, you know, he took an oath or whatever. He pledged his allegiance to um, to Julius. And then he allowed this betrayal to happen. Now, fast forwarding, we do know that Julius pretty much pardons uh William. He's saying, hey, you know what? Basically, we all know how Julius is. Julius is not going to take it to heart. Julius pretty much understands. Julius is a really forgiving guy. Um, You know, that's just how he is. But even though Julius forgave William, it still goes without saying that William needs to do something to make up for it, pretty much. He needs to... He needs to do something of greater importance or equal to him causing or him not stopping Patri. Because if you say, if you say, I'm going to let you two decide who, that's pretty much he didn't stop it. You know what I mean? So he has to do something of greater importance. Now, this something could be something like uh, saving the kingdom. Because we know that he didn't save the kingdom whenever the elves came. So, we know that um, some the Spade Kingdom is going to attempt to invade the Clover Kingdom, right? So, we know this is going to happen. So, um, this part, this is a little something from the manga. I wouldn't consider it a spoiler, but if you don't want to know anything from the manga... You can click off, but I wouldn't can really consider this a spoiler. Um, in the manga, he's facing off against someone from the Spade Kingdom, and he ends up uh, getting captured. Now, I believe he allowed himself to get captured because we're not really to the point where we know what happened yet. That's why I say it's not really a spoiler because I don't know what happened. We just pretty much got it like a glimpse. So he's a he's he's pretty much kidnapped by someone from the Spade Kingdom. And we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if he allowed himself to get kidnapped. Because in my opinion, William should, if he's the number one captain of the uh, number one squad in the Clover Kingdom, he should not have lost 
to, you know, he should not have lost to the person that he did. So I think he might have allowed himself to happen or maybe he just chose to do that for the greater good. You know what I mean? Because Yami was taking care of his uh, enemy from the Spade Kingdom easily. Well, I want to say easily because, again, we're not, we're not that far yet. So I wouldn't know the, the battle wasn't concluded. But I just think that I just think that Vengeance needs to pretty much he pretty Vengeance needs to pretty much like defeat them or do something great. Like an example to me, if I just making up something like that, I think would be good. Like, let's say let's say uh, he sacrifices himself for the Clover Kingdom. I say that's redemption right there. You redeem yourself, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You redeemed yourself for the Clover Kingdom. I'm not saying it has to be that drastic because that seems like a, you know, no one wants to like, no one wants to like perish like that. You know what I mean? But he would be probably willing to do it. And I know he feels really, he regrets um, allowing this to happen because we see in the most recent episode, whenever uh, they had the the meeting, I forget the, ep- the I forget the, uh, title of the episode i think it was called like the magic night squad captain's meeting or something like that it was the most recent episode we had of the black clover anime and he seems this was not in the manga so they're adding stuff but it seems like he pretty much uh for i mean it seems like he pretty much regressed it like you can just tell if you watch the episode you can tell like he's like he's like i want to step down as magic knight's captain i'm not worthy that says right there that he regrets doing what he did and that he wants to make up for it he even he even does the salute to the Clover Kingdom, you know, with the uh, with the three fingers and you put it to your chest. He even does that. So that further solidifies. I just had a tongue twister that further solidifies him wanting to, you know, uh, pledge allegiance to the Clover Kingdom. Because why would you throw up the sign for the Clover Kingdom if you don't want to give it your all? You know what I mean? That means you represent the Clover Kingdom. So, and this is the next coming arc. I think it is going to be heavily uh, vengeance focused on the fact that we didn't see him a lot. He, we didn't even get to see his fighting capabilities during the elf invasion arc. Like we did not, like he didn't fight because Patri was in control of his body. Like, you know what I mean? Like we did not see William Vengeance do anything. And we know that William Vengeance is powerful because he, like, again, once again, he is the leader of the strongest Magic Knights uh, squad. So he obviously has to be strong. Plus, on top of that, he's the rival to Yami Sukihiro. So if for him to be the rival of Yami, he has to be strong. Think of Asta and Yuno. Asta and Yuno are rivals. And that means they have to rival each other in strength. You know what I mean? They have to be on equal terms, equal footing. So if y- we've seen how strong Yami is, all right, we've seen Yami face Patri, and he did good against Patri, bro. And Patri is strong. I feel like people like to downplay Patri because of what happened to him when he fell into despair, pretty much. But at the same time, you can't really downplay Patri because. That's just how Shonen goes. People are going to come and get stronger, but that doesn't downplay the fact how strong Patri was because, you know what I mean? In the beginning, when we first saw Patri, he was he was wrecking and he actually. OK, I'm going to put it like this. He was strong enough to throw hands without with Julius without just completely straight up dying right off the bat because Julius is super strong. Nobody going to doubt that he's the wizard king. But. Yeah, man, we really got to see. We really got to see Vengeance do some redemption. And I won't say right away because right now they got to really focus on. They really got to focus on fighting the threat. And that could be a way of redemption. If you beat the threat. All right. We forgive you. You know what I mean? We forgive you for betraying the Clover Kingdom. Um, I hope I really hope he doesn't. Uh, I hope he don't like lose. And then, like, we don't see him again. I want to see, I want to see Vengeance fight more. You know what I mean? We never really got to see Vengeance do a lot of fighting. So that's what I want to see. I don't think he's a bad guy by any means. I just think he had a hard decision to make. And when it came down to it, he chose the wrong side because the side that he chose, it caused many people to get hurt. 
it caused many people to almost die. You know what I mean? You can't do that, man. But anyways, if you get if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to catch you all in the next video.